consider the this is very good question very very good so this is consider the utility function 3x1 plus 2x2 they have tried to confuse you okay this is a substitute good utility function it's a linear function and they are asking you to go ahead and maximize it using the method of lagrange let me show you what is the mistake you could have done if you go ahead and you formulate a Lagrange. If you go ahead and do something like this, 3x1 plus 2x2 plus lambda m minus 2x1 minus 3x2. Suppose, suppose I just, this is what is given to me. It is saying the associated Lagrangian function is this, right? It says find x star, y, x2, x1 star, x2 star and lambda. Suppose I just go using my usual method and I just start with this del L by del X1. It will be 3 plus lambda minus 2 is equal to 0. Then suppose I differentiate this with respect to Y, not Y, X2. I will get 2 plus lambda minus 3 equal to 0. So this will give me 3 is equal to 2 lambda. So lambda will be 3 by 2. This will give me 2 is equal to 3 lambda. So lambda will be 2 by 3. This is not possible. Lambda, if you remember, is the marginal utility of income. And I cannot have two values of lambda. I can only have one value of lambda. So if I start, because this is a linear function, if I start following this, I will never ever be able to solve this Lagrange. Never. So how do I go about it? I will go about it in the usual method that we have been following. So my sub, I'm given a substitute good utility function. So u of x1 comma x2, this is given to me as 3x1 plus 2x2. So if I were to go ahead and find MRS of this utility function, it will be mu1 by mu2. So if I differentiate the utility function with respect to x1, I will get 3. If I differentiate the utility function with respect to x2, I will get 2. Which means that if I were to find my MRS, it will be 1.5. Now let's find the ratio of Px by Py. So it is given to me that my budget line is 2x1 plus 3x2 less than equal to income of the consumer. This is what it says. 2x1 plus 3x2 less than equal to income of the consumer. So Px1 will be 2. Px2 will be 3. So Px1 by Px2 will be 2 by 3. 0 0.67. Right. So now let's compare. We know that MRS is greater than P1 by P2. This implies whenever this condition occurs in substitute goods, MRS is greater than P1 by P2. You consume only good one. So only good X1 is what I will be consuming. Now, if I will be only consuming good X1, put it back in the budget line. My budget line is 2X1 plus 3X2 is equal to M. 2X1 plus 3 into 0 is equal to M. I am not consuming X2. So 2X1 is M. So X1 is M by. So I have got that I will be consuming X1 equal to M by 2. Just for our sake. Just for our sake. If I were to draw the budget line, the budget line has a slope of 0 0.67. So the budget line is going to turn out to be flatter. 
and the ICs will be steeper. So my ICs will be like this, like this. And my aim is to reach the highest IC possible. So I will be reaching this point. This will be my equilibrium point. And here I will be consuming only good X. One. So this is good X one. And this is good X two. Right. Now, I know that X two is zero. So I am going to go ahead back to my Lagrange. I, I am going to resolve this Lagrange putting X2 as 0. So let's just take this Lagrange again. And I'm going to just put X2 as 0. So let's put X2 as 0. And my Lagrange will be 3X1 plus lambda M minus 2X1 minus 3 into 0. So this is going to be 3X1 plus lambda m minus 2x1. This is what my Lagrange will be. Again, I will differentiate. I will try to maximize the amount of x1 that I consume. So differentiate it with respect to x1. So 3 plus lambda into m. Sorry, 3 minus 2 lambda will be 0. So this means that 3 will be equal to 2 lambda and lambda will be 3 by this is how you can go ahead and solve this question. So the, the aim here is to understand that you cannot differentiate Lagrange directly. It will give you a wrong answer. You have to use the concept of the usual substitute goods and then solve for the value of lambda at the end after putting x2 as 0.